Glad to be getting some pace back. Now that I'm not doing the beta blocker thing, I did uh, eight times 10 minutes today. Just walking, felt pretty good at a decent pace, not super fast, but at least motoring along. Getting close to my, the pace I want to do for my next half marathon. Um, it's interesting, I saw an article and I was on this uh, site and they were talking about trail running and Max King, who phenomenal trail runner. In fact, he's gonna be running the Kenyans 100 trying to qualify for Western States this weekend. And I remember he also you know, runs tons of other races. My God, people cannot drive. It's like I always walk against traffic and yet they still drive like complete morons. Uh, I guess I just have to stay on my bike path. Sorry about that. So Max King, you know, he's phenomenally gifted. I think he, you know, is you know, a steeplechaser all the way up to 50 miles. And I remember hearing about how he saw that there wasn't a lot of prize money in running. And so he started doing obstacle course racing and was very successful in that. You know, they were giving out, you know, $20,000 prize money. And so he started doing that. So his article was about falling. And he said, of course, as a kid, he fell quite a bit. Kind of disturbing that he said he was a rollerblader, me being a skateboarder. I was like, ooh. But yeah, it's definitely the case that, you know, you have an advantage if, as a child, you were rough and tumble. And learning how to fall is definitely important. So he doesn't fall much like he did as a kid, and neither do I. I mean, I skateboarded for years and somehow never really got hurt. Of course, I probably had a governor on myself, just like I do with my training, so that I never got hurt. I never did too many crazy ass tricks and stuff. But when you fall as an adult, just remember what you did as a kid, you know, just relax, go with the fall, and remember that, yeah, it's gonna hurt, but you know, you just gotta wing it and just stay calm and relaxed so that you don't get so beat up. Man, it's just the morons of the world driving today. Another car going the wrong way. God, these people. I guess I'm running into this because usually I'm out here earlier. It's almost 8 o'clock and I'm running into the commuters, I guess. All the people who don't get up on time and are running late and drive like morons. So he basically says, you know, don't tense up, relax, go with the flow. Um, it also is very helpful that if you do some training like I've been doing in the past year after I had that grease fall, which wasn't my fault because who would have thought there'd be baking grease all over the ground. But, you know, I started doing kettlebells. And as you guys know, I started off with a 10 pound bell. Now I worked all the way up to 35 pound bell. And that's definitely, you know, just kind of bulletproofing your body. So when you do fall, you can take the abuse and also just maybe land a little more graceful, have a little bit more mobility. That's why I like using the kettlebell. It just, uh, just helps out a lot with that. And so then when you're falling, you know, try and slide if possible, uh, roll if possible, and just don't stiffen up. Just be relaxed and protect, you know, put your hands out if you can get them out and also protect yourself, uh, you know, your head and all that. And also you've got to realize too, this is something I probably learned when I was skateboarding, is while you're in the mid fall, it always seems like time slows down, but you can kind of change your body position and try and land a little softer or land on something. I remember my classic thing, why I don't wear gaiters anymore. I was out running one time and my gaiter got tripped on a, bra, a bush and I went flying in the air, but I was able to spin around and land on my back into the brush instead of face first doing a face plant. The last thing about falling or getting injured, hurting yourself, is I've often found that, you know, when I used to play pickup basketball and guys would roll their ankles, the guys would hobble over to the bench and cry and whine and moan. They would be out for weeks. Whereas if you kind of get a fall, the best thing to do is get up as quick as you can and keep moving because don't give your body a chance to just swell up and, you know, assess your stuff. Of course, last year when I had my grease fall, I tried to do that. I tried to get up. Was incredible pain in my leg and I barely made it to a pole to hang on to the pole and I had to call my wife to come pick me up. So take falls. Falls are serious. They can happen at any moment. They always seem to happen when you're not paying attention. I'll be on a tricky technical course and be perfectly fine and then when it's wide open you'll trip over the smallest little thing and then next thing you know you're on the ground yard sailing all your shit bouncing all over the place and it's just not any fun. So try and stop Try and avoid the falls. You know, when you're out training, 
you know, look always in advance like I was today on this video, having to keep an eye on all these damn cars. But you're always just kind of scanning in front of you and picking your line and trying to avoid hitting the ground. But if you're gonna fall, fall and try to minimize the damage. And as always, stay healthy, be boring, and please subscribe.